Hey there, I'm Hill, the Miser Maker, and we're going to talk a little bit about filament holders today. If you've got an A-Net A8, you've probably got something like this that came with it. This is a filament holder. Of course, you had to put it together. Which is, This is very nice. It's got a little threaded rod here with some nuts, and you've got the acrylic holder right here. It's nice that you have something. It's got a lot to be desired, though, because what happens is you put the filament spool on the threaded rod and then you put it on the little stand which is very nice however it tends to wobble and rock back and forth as you can see right here it rocks back and forth so as the filament is coming off and going into the extruder as this is rocking it can actually put some tension on it and an uneven tension, you know, back and forth. It can be an uneven tension on there which can cause some problems with your prints. So we need to make this a lot smoother. And one of the simplest ways to do this is to print out basically a spool holder that will center this in the very center where it'll be a nice smooth motion. So that's what I did is I printed out one and I've got it right here the spool holder. I will put the link to the Thingiverse page on there. It's basically just a little threaded nut and a threaded bowl. It's threaded about halfway up. Now when I printed this it wasn't perfect. You can see some banding on there but you know just for a practical use that's all you need and this is kind of part of how you upgrade the ANET A8. You do some upgrades even if they're a little bit crude and don't look perfect it doesn't matter initially. The reason you're building an a and 8 and the reason that you are printing some of these useful items is to make the next prints even better. So that's what this helps out with. So let's put this on here. So we basically take the bolt out. We're going to take the nuts off of the threaded rod. And we are going to take this print here. We're going to put the threaded rod through it. We're going to put the nuts back on. You don't have to do this in this exact same order. You're generally going to want to use a um, wrench to tighten these lock picks together. You want to keep it kind of towards the edge so you have enough room for the stand. And so then we take the filament and we put it on here. And this one fits almost perfectly. And then we put the threaded nut that we printed out on there. Spin that down. Get it to snug up. Make sure it's centered well. And there we go. Nice. Now we just put it back on the spool holder. There we go. And look how smooth that is now. There is virtually no wobble at all. It is solid, nice, and smooth. So the prints will turn out a lot better because you won't have that wobbling tension on there. So that's one of the first upgrades you're going to want to do. And it works well. I will put the link in the description below. And if you like this video, of course, subscribe, share it with your friends, and We'll just do some more videos along the way. Hope this is helpful to you. So let's get making. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 